Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Crap. No, no, this game is not crap, but... Yeah, we gotta fight another monster that's in this chest here. So I'm just gonna have Locke try to steal something. Oh, come on, Locke. Well, as you can see, I uh, rearranged my party slightly. Um, maybe my party was always this way, I don't know, but... Locke's at the top in the front row, and Terra I have in the back row. She's basically gonna be in the back row all the time. Did, did I get anything from that chest? I don't think I did. What a ripoff! You jerk. Well, anyway, all these other guys are just like tutorial guys. They'll tell you stuff about the game if you're interested. I'll just go over it as I play through the game. So, no real point in me talking about it. So I called the last episode, Who Let the Mogs Out? Because I thought, you know, it's a little play on words. I just kind of thought of that at the last second, too. I wasn't really planning that in advance. And it got me thinking, you know, let's listen to the Who Let the Dogs Out song. You know, the song that I was, you know, kind of, you know, talking about there, or referencing there. And I was thinking about it, and you know, what does that title mean, Who Let the Dogs Out? I mean, what are they talking about? I mean... Someone let their dogs out of their cage, or let them out of the house? Maybe they're talking about their dog, like, you know, D-A-W-G. Or, you know, like, he's my dog, or, uh, Snoop Dogg, D-O-double-G, you know? I'm hip, I know who all the hip guys are. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> I mean, what's with the lyrics? Who let the dogs out? I don't get it. Maybe it's just me. I mean, they might as well have, you know, called the song, um, Who let the milk out? Who? 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 It's boiling out there. Who? 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 You know, I mean, I mean, it's so contrived. I mean, what's... I don't get it. Who let the dogs out? It... I don't know. Maybe it's just not for me. And I'm just having Locke steal items here. Uh, I suppose I could have put him in the back row if I was just going to do that all day, but... Eh, I figure, why not? Just leave him in the front in case I want him to attack sooner or later. And Terra should basically just be casting fire all day. Setting my enemies on fire in a desert. Sounds like a plan. I can't stand the desert myself. Like in Arizona, I don't buy that dry heat argument. I, I don't think so. You you're never gonna get see me living in Arizona. I will take the harsh winters of Chicago any day over the summers of Arizona. No offense to anyone who lives in Arizona. It's a nice place. Just too hot for me. Ah, oh, we've made it to Figaro. All right, let's check this place out. You know what? I'm just going to go talk to the king. We really can't do anything else anyway, for now. Nice castle music they got here. Pretty majestic. Huh, no one here guarding the path to the throne room. Just get through one guy, and here we are, the throne room. Hey, how's it going? She's a witch? Yeah, great job, Edgar. Just stare right at her chest. Don't be too obvious or too discreet. Yeah, I'm sure that's what she was thinking when you, uh, yeah, looked at her that way. And the king's name is Edgar. Can I call you Eddie? Huh? Kind of like, uh, King Edward, or... Well, Prince Edward, but yeah. Well, I suppose a king needs to have someone who uh, can do all of his dirty deeds for him. Because, Lord knows, he's not doing any dirty deeds. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay, we're uh, in the Allies of the Empire here. Alright. Well, wait, wait a minute. La is Locke with the Empire? Wait, I thought he was... I thought we were against them. Huh.
That is not how you hit on ladies, Edgar. You could start with a simple hello. No, no, a normal girl would not have found him dashing. Uh, maybe with all of his money, maybe, but other than that. Oh, okay, so now they're just going to let us wander around the castle. Sounds like a plan. Oh, now the guards got here. No one can stop him now! He has unlimited power! Well, we might as well collect some treasure around here and loot the castle. I thought there was someone up here. Eh. Okay, well now there's shops to the left and the right there, so I want to do some shopping, and I'll be right back. Alright, let's check out the shops here then. Not so much for the shops, but actually there's some treasure around here. Yeah, they sell just normal, everyday items. Uh, sleeping bags are like uh, an elixir, but you can only use them uh, on the world map or at a save point. It restores all your HP and MP. Uh, yeah, intense do it for everyone. And the rest of the items, pretty self-explanatory. A tincture is like an ether, or ether, however you want to pronounce it. I'm pronouncing it ether. But yeah, that's one way you could uh, heal up there. Let's see what this guy sells. Oh, this guy sells some interesting stuff. Now these are tools. I already got an auto crossbow from talking to Edgar there. And uh, well, we only need one of each of them, so that's all we can get. I'll be going over how we can use those soon enough. Don't worry, viewers. It's all you need to do is just have them in your inventory, that's all. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over the equipment. Uh, well, Locke is the same as before, but I gave him uh, Mog's old Mithril shield, and I equipped the Mithril knife on Terra there. So there you are. I mean, Mog's in, er, Locke is in the front row, so that's why I gave him the high defense from the shield. Oh, this guy, this, this place has some secret technology. Eh, it doesn't work, you know? Secret treasure! You know, you gotta have two syllables after secret for that to sound right. Technology, too many syllables for that to work. Ready to leave? Why would a castle need an engine room? You mean like a boiler room or something to keep the rooms hot or something? I, oh, I don't understand what you're talking about. Maybe they got tanks here, you know? I mean, heck, the Empire has tanks, so these guys are allies. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure gonna let you guys out of here. Oh, okay, well, terrorizing thieves, well, I guess that's where they belong. Oh, hey, it's Lone Wolf! I haven't seen you since Final Fantasy V. Great, great job, Wolsey. You don't know how to spell the plural form of potatoes. That, that's just great. <laughs> Not that I'm a big fan of potatoes. See what's going on over here. We don't have to talk to everyone, but you know, I feel like it. There's only one person we really need to talk to to advance the plot, so. Aren't you a scholar? Mage Knights, huh? I heard in the Japanese version of the game, uh, all the characters in the game actually have a job class associated with them, even though you can't really switch job classes. And, like, Terra is like a, a mage knight or a mage warrior or something like that. Huh, okay. Yeah, that's great. This is a desert castle. The most advanced technology in the world. Because we built three castles and they all sank into the desert. But the fourth one stood up. And now we have the most advanced technology available, or that's what we said. Oh, and they manufacture items for South Figaro. Okay. Maybe the engine room just keeps the sink from sinking into the sand, huh? I guess, you know, you gotta have technology for that sort of thing. How would you build a castle in a desert anyway? I mean, I suppose, you know, every Final Fantasy game or RPG has to have a, uh, a desert area for you to go to. And an ice area and so on. I could rest up here, but I don't think that's necessary. Well, yeah, so do I. High Priestess, huh? 
Okay, fair enough. Well, there's only one more place for us to explore. Yeah. If one more person tells me I'm in a desert... Gah! Man. Okay, well, we've just got one more part of the castle to explore now. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.